Well, this is a the distributor out of my Fiat Dino Spider, and it's a dual point distributor. So the idea is it rotates and creates the spark for the engine, for the V6 engine. So if you're familiar with a distributor, this rotor is usually on top and it rotates around and there's a distributor cap on top which the sparks uh, are distributed to the engine. You can look that up anywhere on YouTube and I'll show how that works. Uh, in this case, this is a dual point distributor. If you get way down in there, probably have to hit that. Um, you can see that when I rotate, that these points open. This is a dual point distributor. There's one point there. There's another set of points there. So what that does is there's a little cam lobe that's hard to see right there. And it opens and closes the points. Uh, and the lobe has three, three high spots. So it opens these points up every 60 degrees. And in the manual, it says you have to set these up. So the distributor, there's two things you set with points. The points are a circuit that gets completed to make the spark happen. So there's a, there's a ignition coil and the ignition coil gets charged up when the points are closed. Current flows through one side of the ignition coil. Once the points open, then it shorts out the electricity and it causes a large spark jump to the other coil. Um, you can also look that up anywhere on YouTube and, and know how that works. It's a basic high voltage transformer. And so what we're doing here is we're trying to set up these to make sure that this distributor distributes the spark every exact 60 degrees. And so the manual says that has to be 60 degrees plus minus one degree. And uh, they have a very complicated procedure for that with some special machine. But what I've done is I've made this uh, little jig just on a laser printer. So this is uh, 60 degree lines plus minus one degree. Um, and it's just cardboard backing. And I figure I, I, I put a clamp with a little pointer on here. That's just a barbecue skewer with a point on it. And so uh, when you put this on here, you can line this up and you can try to line up when those points open and close. Well, how does that work? So it turns out that if you use a voltmeter with a continuity check, this is an old voltmeter, and if you put it on continuity check, every time you short out the two sides, it beeps. So if I short these two out, it beeps, which is exactly what the points do. So all I need to do is connect this to that switch. The points are nothing more than a switch that open and close. So I hook that up one to the regular side and the other side to ground, which is where they connect to, and you can see that they already are beeping there. And so now, as I rotate this around, you can hear it open and close. So now I just need to check whether that's happening every 60 degrees plus minus one. So then I can take my jig and kind of rotate it around until I get a perfect spot where it opens, which is about there. Do it again. Yep, that's about right. So I'm going to tape this in place right in the, that spot. Oops, right about there. Try it again. Okay, right there. That's right on the one. It's hard to see with parallax, but you can see that that's right on the on that spot. Then we rotate this around. Ignition coil charges up. 12 volts flies through it. 12 volts gets cut off when this is grounded. Boom, spark happens. That's exactly at 60 degrees as well. This goes around again, and that's at 60 degrees. So it turns out this was adjusted already quite well, better than I expected. But the way you would adjust this is you would adjust, you would then, let me shut this off, you would loosen the screws inside by those points and you can shift them around relative to each other. <clears throat> and by doing that, then you can adjust whether they open at 60 degrees exactly or not. And so two things you can adjust on points is one, the position of the total rotation and two is the point gap. And so in traditional systems, the point gap is very important. So in this distributor, this gap between the points at the maximum point should be 
uh, 12 thousandths. And so you would go in there with a, with a feeler gauge such as these, and you can go in there and you can find a 12 thousandths shim in here. And you stick that in there, and then you can adjust a few things in here which adjust the gap at the maximum. Um, again, you can find that anywhere. So once you get the point gap adjusted, then it's a matter of getting these two relative to each other at 60 degrees apart. Um, since it uses one lobe and two sets of points to distribute the spark all the way around the, the car. So anyway, this is a quick and easy way to verify the thing was adjusted properly. All right, I'll put it back in the car.